Let's create this metallic heart shape here in Illustrator. I'm gonna swap it from fill to stroke. Click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. And I'm gonna go with the white color now. Let's select the circle, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, create a circle. Select the circle and let's go to the stroke settings, increase the size until it is going to disappear that little hole inside here. So I'm gonna go a little bit more up. All right, let's go to the gradients, activate the gradients, and let's go up and click on the second stroke profile. And it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna need to decrease the stroke somewhere here. I'm also gonna activate the scale stroke in effect. So if I scale this up, the stroke size is gonna remain the same. And from here, all we need to do is just fill up here the gradients with more colors. So I'm gonna, for example, pull this here. I'm gonna choose a lighter one. I'm gonna select the white, press and hold Alt, drag it all the way here. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag one more here and just arrange it. I'm gonna drag one here, another one here. You can double click, make it a light gray and you can play around to see what results you're gonna get. Now let me pull these in. I'm gonna pull these in more, make it more lighter. There you go. Yeah, this is pretty nice. And from here, we're gonna to need to create a heart shape. I'm gonna select the rectangle. Also, I'm gonna decrease the stroke to one. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. Now I'm gonna create a new copy. Press and hold Alt, drag it up. Also press Shift to isolate. Select the direct selection tool and drag it from these little dots inside. So it's gonna make it rounded, make it rounded perfectly. And now I'm gonna pull this down. Also press Shift, make sure to intersect right here. Great, and I'm also gonna select the rectangle and make it a little bit more longer. Select both, press Ctrl G to group it, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F to duplicate. So it's gonna create a new copy, or you can go to edit, paste in front. And now press and hold Shift, rotate it 90 degrees, and I'm gonna position it something like this right here till they intersect perfectly at the corner. Select both, press and hold Shift, rotate. Now go to the Pathfinder on the right at the properties and click on Unite. And now I'm gonna copy paste the stroke profile of the circle, select it, press the letter I, select the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna go to the circle here and copy paste the profile. Now I'm gonna decrease the stroke, I don't know, to 10 maybe, there you go. And now I'm gonna drag the heart on the circle and I'm gonna need to create a duplicate out of this heart, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F and I'm gonna select the top one, press and hold Shift, also set, select the circle, right click and click on make clipping mask. So right now the clipping mask is on the top. I'm gonna right click on the heart, go to arrange, send to back. This is how it looks. You also can modify it how you like. You can double click on the circle and select the circle and you can pull it a little bit more up. Double click somewhere here to release. And this is how you make a metallic heart in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.